What up, what up, what up, what up? Diabolic Temple. Trying to show you guys that the truth of Grand Theft Auto 5 is hidden in the land. I've been trying to tell you for a year. What up, what up? Welcome to another fun and exciting episode of Diabolic Tadpole's Grand Theft Auto 5 videos. Let me shut this door a little bit. Anyway, as I've been trying to tell you guys, the secret to Grand Theft Auto's meal mystery is hidden in the land. And I've been trying to tell you guys that it gets revealed by the sun and the moon. Now, after 28 days of weather, there's this one day of weather that actually makes everything pop out. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I keep zooming out on this lady that's standing out over there. She's got like white robes and a dark hair. Hair. Uh, she's right in the middle of my screen, and I keep zooming in towards her. Now, what Rockstar means by it's right in front of our face, they literally put these details in everything that is in this game. From trees to rocks to dirt to the reflection of the water to, you know, the clouds, the fog, the side of the mountains. Everything is included in this. It's in everything. It's right in front of your face. No matter where you go, you can find these items. Now, what they want you to segregate and rearrange is they've drawn pictures in just about everything in this game and they hit it in the detail of it say it's a rock okay you'll see like black lines and shadows and just like different cuts of the rock going into different ways now you need to actually separate what it's it's drawn on this rock because it may look like a rock that is tangible but if you look at the details of this rock and actually start paying attention to the pattern forms that are forming on it You'll start to see that there is actual art that is drawn here. It's all over this stuff. You just have to have the eye for it. Now, I got my eye open last January. Of, it was like 2016. When I started playing this game on the 1. And this hunt has just been ongoing ever since. It literally covers every inch of this game. And me being the only person that is looking into it as it in is in this as much depth uh, depth as I have. It's it's you know it's kind of driving me nuts. I've been asking for help since January 2016. I need help pick, picking this apart. I tried to give this to the you know to the internet to the world. I know that if you guys get a, a whim a whim of this you know a whiff of this it's just gonna be blown wide open. So. Here I am again saying the secrets in the land. You just gotta open your eyes to it. So this is another little long clip, but this is this video is gonna be me pretty much messing with uh, camera filters and just trying to get you to notice what I'm I'm doing. Zooming in, zooming out, different colors, different shades, different textures. Everything is included in this. It's right in front of your face, like. Start to draw the lines out. Start to see the patterns that are hidden in here. I've been noticing it since last year. And like I said, this hunt, it just keeps going and going and going. No matter how many days I turn on this game, I always find something new. There's these spots that I call art, like coves. That you could tuck yourself into and go in, in, into AFK mode. And on the perfect day, it's almost like a relaxing, zen-type experience where it's got like birds cawing in the background. It sounds like the ocean's going. And, I mean, it's kind of like a paradise sound, which is pretty sweet. But like I said, all these textures are the rocks that I'm showing you. I'm just, I'm showing you rocks. But if you pay attention to the outlines of every shade and shadow, you'll start to see what I'm talking about. You'll see skulls, aliens, numbers, monkeys, a bunch of different things that are outlined. Which is only revealed at certain parts of the day by the sun. It's kind of like that help house. You guys just recently found this help house. That during certain parts of the day, the sun reveals the words help. But you guys are just, just barely scratching the surface with that one. I mean, like, literally... I've been saying it since last year. The sun reveals the secret of this game. And you guys are like stoked because you found help on the side of a building. Man, if you only seen the art that I've seen. And the extent that, I mean, the extent that they took this art to. 
it covers whole mountainsides. It covers the whole sky. Like, it, I mean, it's there's been instances where I've been surrounded by aliens and stuff like that. It's just, it's been unreal. Some of the stuff that I've seen in this game. I've been surrounded by the art. There's like spots so you know you're in the right area because there'd be like 42 faces looking directly at you as it goes in AFK mode and starts spinning around and looking at random things. It's pretty intense. Like it's pretty, it's a pretty cool feeling once you actually start getting the hang of this and actually seeing what happens around you. Now, I came across a secret by one night sitting above the mural. I like that. I went to the mural and I asked myself, what's the mural trying to tell us? And came to the conclusion that it wanted us to become the eye that was sitting atop of the cable car illustration that they have on the mural. So I did that for a while. I did it for like three, four nights, just spinning around in circles, just 360 spins all night slow so I could see everything that was happening to the game as the weather went by. I had some pretty cool experiences up there. I seen this badass fa Fabergé Easter egg that was up there. It stretched from the top of Mount Chiliad down to past the prison area, almost to the power station. It was pretty intense. So after that, like I tried to replicate it for days on end and it could not replicate the Fabergé Easter egg, which let me know, you know, out of 28 days of weather, there's literally one day of weather where whatever we can find is open. And the weather on that day, it just, it makes the game react in such a bizarre way that is it's unexplainable it, it really is but on this day it leads me to these places it shows me these art coves it'll be highlighted in the sunlight it'll be like sparkling and almost it's got like the sparkle to it as you're flying around in a buzzard now after weeks of looking on the earth from a bird's eye view, I decided to take it underwater because I got to take a look at that stuff. And that is where I actually learned the secret of the sun. When you go underwater and you start to pay attention to the sun rays and how they affect the ground beneath, you'll start to notice the art under the water and you'll be very soon be able to take it above water and learn to, like, everything. <laughs>